I'm stricter when it comes to things related to school, like getting their homework done, making sure... Um, I just saw this grassy interview between Rishi Sunak and his wife Akshar Tamirti talk about tone deaf, these two super rich people gushing about their overprivileged life. It was posted on Instagram and it appears I'm not the only person who found it objectionable. Every comment of the hundreds posted rips into Gracia, Sunak and Murti. First though, let's watch a bit more and then I'll read some of the comments. They are reading, uh, making sure that anything related to school is, is, is done well. Um, but in everything, everything else, else, I'm stricter. I'm relaxed. <laughs> Approximately 3 million children are living in food insecurity in this country right now. 1.5 million emergency food parcels were sent out in November 2023. Most of those 65% parcels were for children. We are pushing a 20% child poverty rate in the UK. And please, we will scream louder for those children who are being murdered elsewhere right now as these two giggle and laugh with your journalists. This is so tone deaf. How are we meant to support you or feel you report genuine content with the likes of this? It's clickbait at its finest. You want us to be angry? We are. To comment more, we will, because the more this content gets spread around, the more people will read the information in those comments. Whose idea was this? We don't want to hear these pair talk about parenting struggles when the majority of parents are struggling to work because of a wage childcare fee gap. I can only feel you've got your audience wrong this time, Gracia. Putting all their clothes away. Yeah, good at setting their wardrobe up and, and tidying. Um, I've, I've always gotten them to set the table, clean up after meal. It's just what I did growing up, so I thought... Yeah, make their beds. Am I having a stroke? Or did you really just feature these two billionaires giggling like a doting mother and her favourite son answering questions about raising kids while Palestinian children starve in the cold, undergo amputations without anaesthetic and don't know whether bombs or expired food will fall from the sky? I'm sorry, I need to comment again. Just the awful timing aside and the fact these two are giggling about Elf on the Shelf as children starve to death in Gaza... Why does he look like he's just found himself with a new wife and family he's never met? Make the, that's your thing. That, yeah. that's, that's your thing, yeah. So, so It would be nice if they walked the dog that they want to get a bit more often for that never seems. Yeah, well they do clean up after the dog. Um, Gracia, I'm a long-term reader and I've had the privilege to write for you a few times. Please, please understand how uneasy this sits with the vast majority of us. Sure, show some different opinions, but a glossy looking interview with billionaires of which one can take this country out of poverty, sort out the NHS and stop my fellow disabled people dying from benefit cuts is not the one. I don't care how the Sunaks do the hoovering. I care that my friends are dying while waiting for health care or that there's people in my town working two jobs but still not being able to afford three meals per day. Uh, so, so look, they do, they do a few, but they don't. They could do more. Ugh, disgusting. Click here for more PPE scandals.